Last week's episode was awesome. Finally set this thing on the ground. <laughs> Holy sheep shit. <laughs> oh my freaking gosh. Look at how sick. Today we have a lot to cover. I am going to go through and figure out how to make a full rear diffuser for the C10 Slayer. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do that yet, but um, I don't have much room to work with, but we're gonna figure something out. So we're gonna put this bad boy back on the lift, but this should be a pretty exciting episode. I want the diffuser kinda to go at the angle to the bottom of the rear end, but not be too low. Uh, that way when this thing bottoms out, it doesn't hit or anything like that. So I'll probably go, um, actually I might be able to just set it in there just to get a reference, but let me break this piece and uh, we'll look at it and then figure out the sides here. So I'm thinking of kind of starting it along the lines of this. I know it looks, uh, you can't really tell it's from just a little one piece, but I have, uh, I have some ideas. I'm just gonna uh, have some fun with some paper and, and cut out this section and see what I come up with. But uh, it's, this is where, you know, just getting creative and having fun comes into play. Cause I don't got a plan and I don't have a, uh, a book telling me what to do here on this, on this build. So we'll see what we could come up with. I do know I got the tire here. We'll cut it around the tire. I don't know. I'll get some paper. Let's, uh, let's just throw down some measurements and have a little fun. As funny as this is, uh, this is how visions and and uh, looks come about. You know, I got just two of our splitter rods that we make in house. Those are just sitting on on this piece. I thought it would look kind of cool with an angle and something like this. Obviously, these would be longer, It'd be all equal. I mean, don't <laughs> don't look at this like like this is a stand, but this is along the lines of what I'm thinking. Something that just comes through and uh you know hat looks nice and um what i'll do is let me go draw on the computer and get all my angles and, and figure all this out it'll take me a minute and uh, let's actually cut out a good one out of paper put it up there and then if it's if it looks good i'll uh, i'll take it to the water jet and have them cut out a test i'm just in master cam uh i've been drawing a lot actually it's actually kind of been fun but i kind of just went from uh some just oaky measurements you see all my stuff here and I went in and this is going to be the outside. So in relation, the tire is gonna be here. So this, this side's gonna break straight down. This side's gonna break straight down. And uh, in theory, this should slide up in between. This should clear all the tire, everything like that. So uh, let me just, I'm gonna just run over and see if I can get this cut out. And uh, we just, just go from there and try it. I got all my measurements here that are printed out and uh, we should be good. Got everything to bend this up. Got my prints. Um, luckily, he's able to do this real quick. We've got three total brakes, one on each side of here. This one's bending up 45 degrees. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this yet. I'll show you guys what it is, but I uh, figured it'd be a cool little added uh, detail. So this is what the start to the diffuser looks like. In theory, this should just slide right in there, which it does, and should clear the tire real nice. I don't have three hands, so uh, I wish, but let me uh, let me mock this up and uh, get it sitting perfect, and then I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. This is actually really exciting. <laughs> that was a first shot panel. I don't know if it's 100% yet. You can see I got a nice angle for the tire. I might need to change that a little bit right here. Uh, but let's lower the truck and look at this thing. There's just something fun about uh, building something yourself and it fitting out right on the first time. Look at how perfect this sits in here, you guys. We've got um, an inch of clearance there. It's uh, it's same exact width all the way down. Everything's fitting good. Angles are looking good. Just imagine when two of these are on. Check it out, Dad. Oh yeah. Oh shoot, that's freaking perfect. That looks freaking good job, man. Oh, you even got a little radius on there. Yeah. On the tire. <laughs> nice. And that radius will match more when it's when the wheel 
A little up. detail action. Yeah. Do you like the 45s and stuff? I'm just wondering, should we keep this square or should I put a little 45 on this? Uh, no, if anything, I think we just barely round it. So no many rips are I think it'll look good though once, and then we'll, I'll probably put three more fins in between is what I was thinking. So on this one, this side should be the exact same then. Yeah, I was just gonna have them cut up too out of eighth inch aluminum. Nice job, buddy, that looks freaking good. Hey, not bad from a little sketchy template here. Hey, if we get that on there, we just powder coat it. From that to that. Hey, that's how you make things right there. That's the cool thing. Yeah, it fits in there perfect. Yeah. That looks good. That looks really, really good. All right. Well, let's go get this uh, cut out of eighth inch, boys. I'm gonna mount the middle before I start these ends, uh, but basically what I was thinking is having this go here, uh, weld to the chassis, and then this this will have a broken edge right here that I could bolt this to, and uh, that'll strengthen it, and then everything else will kind of just bolt right to it. I got a lot of clamps going on, uh, but basically I'm gonna TIG weld this and then grind it because I want it to look all part of the frame. That way it just looks clean, but got everything clamped, everything's flush. I'm gonna pull off the TIG, get her all welded up and uh, grind her down. And then I can mount this side and then I'll move to that side. This piece is on to stay. Let me uh, break these up. I got them already back in eighth inch. And we should be uh, ready to put this bad boy together. I am so excited about this. It's just fun because it, it goes from paper to a, you know, a thought, a vision, and now it looks like this. See, this sits real nice on the inside. This goes to the bottom side here. Um, I just have a cleat coat in right now, but that's one side. So let me grab the other side and then we'll figure out our fins here. Oh yeah, that looks good. You like it? Yeah, I like it because it's kind of square like the truck. That fits it. I gotta admit, I would I would never have put that on there. <laughs> but it looks good. This has got me pretty dang excited so far. Still not done. Still got quite a bit to do. Damn, yeah. That looks really good. I like it. I, mean, I think it adds the detail that was needed in the back. Yeah, no, that looks actually that looks pretty fast, right? The wing is gonna be here shortly. But uh, at least for this section, this uh, I think is pretty much done besides me adding some fins here. Man, so you made that by hand. I know, isn't that fun? From paper. From a piece of paper, I like that. Yeah. Well, let's get these fins made and then we'll complete this thing. So just kind of playing around with the cardboard trying to figure out if uh, these fins will look cool. I'm gonna place the last one on and then we'll lower it. I kind of wanted to do a little different angle than what this is. I don't know if it's gonna look good though. So let's set it down, check it out. I'm just trying to not make it so uniform because nothing on this truck is uniform as you guys know. And uh, I just figured if I, if I add a little different style, it might be kind of cool. But we'll check it out right now. I think I kind of like it. I'll get my dad's opinion, but I definitely like the three. It gives it that more uh, race car feel. All right, Pop, let me know if you like this. Come here. Oh, that is awesome. You like it? You even got, you got the same angle at the bottom. Yeah, I like how you came out with them. I think Isn't it, that fun just to build stuff out of cardboard? And just, that is per, was that your first shot? Yeah. That looks really good. I was oh yeah, that, that, I love that, that made it. And you like the, the three? Absolutely, I'd leave those open and just do those three. That's perfect. What's fun about this diffuser is it's not just something we ordered, it's something that I made out of complete cardboard and transferred it to aluminum and then made it like this. So that's, this is gonna well, be it's, special. It's design it, 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 you know, this truck has so many weird lines on it. I mean, it's a 65 Chevy. So the true blue, hardcore, hot rod, 65 Chevy guys, whatever, they're, they're gonna hate it. And that's funny. 
But then you get like your generation, which is little. I mean, you like the modern, crazy-looking cars, and then you morphed it. So I actually like everything about it, and I'm old school. This looks cool. It's it's just a lot of weird stuff. <laughs> There's a lot of weird stuff going on on this truck. There's I know. a lot of weird. But then you bring the flavor of the truck back in with the tailgate and the I know. <laughs> Like it or hate it, you got to look at all the crazy stuff on it. I know that's what will be funny about this truck is probably fifty percent of the people are gonna hate it, fifty percent are gonna love it. But again, like my dad said, Hold if, if fifty love it, fifty hate it, but a hundred percent will be talking about it. Oh yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. You know, it's you see an old cab, and you see that it's some wild looking truck. People are gonna walk up and look at it, and once they start looking at all the detail and all the work that we've done in this thing, uh, maybe those that are not a fan of it will become a fan after seeing all the work i mean just like all this so um let me draw these in the computer and uh let's just let's get this diffuser finished i want to get this thing done and then uh we could move on to the next thing the last part before we fully weld everything but uh got all the fins i'm gonna pull off the center section which it's kind of nice since it's in three pieces still we'll get all the fins uh welded i'm, I'm gonna need some help because i gotta hold a lot of things but uh, we'll get these on, put it back on, and then uh, fully weld all this together. These fins on. I can't wait to set this on and get the full effect. But Garrett's over here killing it. We're getting her done. I All right, the time is here to uh, finish the diffuser. Once this is in, all we gotta do is weld it together. So let's throw this bad boy in and see what she looks like. Wow, look at how awesome that looks. Check out the finished product. It's so exciting. Oh, ho, 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 ho. doesn't that look awesome? Wow, 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 wow. Holy cow, he didn't even burn it through. Isn't that awesome? Oh. All right, I gotta admit. You know what's fun about this? This is probably one of my favorite parts because this is made out of paper. To be in it. I mean, that's what makes it fun. It's, you build stuff out of paper and cardboard and Wow, I actually really, really like that. You know how many haters you're gonna get? Oh yeah. <laughs> There's gonna be so many haters. Why did you do that to a 65 Chevy? I'm just gonna say, well, we needed the aerodynamics because it's a, it's a 400 mile an hour truck. No, we could just say, why do you dress like that? There's <laughs> all kinds of stuff we could say. <sighs> hey, you know what? It, it looks like the truck. I mean, I still love the fact we got a 65 Chevy. Then we got some wacko wild, I don't know what the hell you did here in the back with four wheels. Then we got the tailgate. It brings us back in. Oh, 65 Chevy. And then what the hell did you do here? This is like modern day aerodynamics. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Still no one really, no one knows what we're doing to the bed still. But I know, but get it from this shop. This is my favorite shop. When you look down the side of this, look at, my dad's getting all excited. Look at that, and then you see that big old monster meat. Oh, and then you look up here and you see big old Whipple. <laughs> What's was that? A, was that a motor sound? Is that what that was? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. How did that go again? You heard it. <laughs> Well, this is definitely exciting. Um, the whole truck is just turning out awesome from the wheels, tires, chassis, all the stuff Garrett's been doing, everything my dad's been doing. It's just been a, a really exciting adventure. I mean, look at how cool, oh my gosh. Look at how sick it looks from down here. I gotta admit, I thought that rear thing was gonna look stupid. What do you call that thing? Diffuser. Diffuser? That looks insane. This truck belongs in a movie. Yeah. No, this uh, is a movie what, truck. what everyone keeps saying is, is it looks like a Hot Wheel. Oh, yeah. This would be an insane Hot Wheel. Yeah, it would. 
But it belongs in a movie. This thing is just art. Yeah. Everything. It's... The wheels. I mean, look at those Govet wheels. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. And the best part about this whole truck is this is all handmade. Every single piece on this thing. But even the tires have checkers on them, right? I, mean, I know. Who makes tires with checkers? And they're like suede too. Have you felt them, Garrett? No. They, they literally feel like suede. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. What? I'm excited to feel that nice smoothness now because it's about to get, it's going to get roasted. And what are ah! they? I was just going to say, what are they going to sound like? All right, well, this was an absolute blast to make, guys. Um, again, it just goes to show that uh, you guys and anyone can build anything. Like, Garrett has his own talent, my dad, myself. Everyone has their own talent. So uh, I just showed you that I started this with paper, and now it looks like that. So this, uh, this episode, again, thank you guys for watching. The truck is going to be just unreal it's going to be a different crazy and and i just uh i just you know appreciate everyone that's that followed the build really yeah this truck it's it's just looking insane yeah Rapper. fedex is here with that long box long box oh are you serious yes guys fedex is here we got the biggest wing actually it's a full custom wing on order let's go grab it